Hello everyone, my name is Angel. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you how to install Adobe Muse inside your WordPress site. This is gonna take me probably around 10 minutes, but there is a couple of requirements you must have first. The first one is you must have a hosting provider. Just in case you don't have a hosting provider, I'm gonna leave you a link below from a couple hosting provider. They are pretty good. I already used uh, some of these for my websites. And you can click in there and you can go and start like a new plan just in case uh, you don't have it. But assuming you already have a um, hosting plan, let's start now. The first thing we have to do is to click here and download this widget. A uh, second step is you must go to your WordPress site and log in with your credentials right here. Okay, and from here, we need to install this widget as a thing. Okay, let, go, let me go back right here we choose things from here we have to pick this option a new and we have to upload it we choose the file i already downloaded the first time let me just choose this is the new one and we click install probably it's gonna take like click again take like this is pretty easy installation Okay, done. Now we click activate. All right, and here if you see this uh, message, uh, make sure you have the latest uh, version from this website, okay? Update it. Okay, now we can go and visit our site to see how it looks like. There's gonna be nothing because uh, they, we haven't uploaded any design from Adobe Muse yet but when we finish our design it's gonna appear over here okay let me just go back to my WordPress just in case you're not familiar with this uh, dashboard I recommend you to go and watch another YouTube video about WordPress site how to manage WordPress site from your dashboard okay our next step is to go in to your cPanel and login with your credential I already logging my cPanel okay most of the cPanel from Bluehost, HostGator and the other hosting provider they are pretty much the same this is a uh, in motion hosting cPanel let me click here okay now we are here the first thing we have to look in here is this uh, folder which is called public HTML we double click here and we have to double check because you see this folder right here in NTW thing is the place with all your design for uh, Adobe Muse gonna be drop it in here as a zip folder let me click here there is nothing yet in here because we haven't created any design still okay let me just go back to Adobe Muse in Adobe Muse the next step in here is going to thing because we need to download we won't create a new one right now because it's gonna take you too much time to create a new design it's a website but from here they offering uh this one xd which is free and they also they have it this is like uh, for a uh, woocommerce website this is pay option is one dollar if you wanna um want to buy this uh thing but it's one dollar for membership you got access to all the widget because also over here let me just go into the widget over here in widget we see a lot of widgets which is really necessary for our muse design work properly in wordpress okay the first one probably you don't need as a regular block because this is uh more for commercial this is woocommerce this one is as uh, optional also it's a pay option but uh which one you can use for free is this one the grid list this is uh for your image let me just open uh, the new thing they have it this way i can teach you better let me just go download and here you can go and see the preview this is already it's a website this uh is adobe muse website create in adobe muse but it's hosting right now inside wordpress now you can create any beautiful design in your adobe muse it start working in here 
you go hit block you're gonna see how your uh bobby muse blocks gonna look like inside your wordpress yep okay it's gonna look like this this is a uh, the mansori style and go here more let's see more what they got you can customize any page this can be your service page or can be your about page you can can be your contact page but it's up to you how you want to call it okay in the future i'm gonna start making more videos about this widget let me just close this one right now let me go here back to here and widget you must come in here to, to if you have any trouble to install or working with this widget you can come in here and there is a uh, information like a small guide how to use it but right now let's go back and let's start doing the installation inside our wordpress site let's go back to our site but before we do the installation we have to go back to our download folder let me just go here here is we have to open this one and extract everything on it okay over here we have it uh, this is the original uh, design we want to write double click here that way we can open with an adobe muse right now that compress file it's gonna be closed okay it's gonna give you some time this pop up because some image probably won't be here in this file uh, you have to relink with your own image and over here let me just go to the master page this is the master page if you're already familiar with uh, adobe muse style probably you know how to create here and this is more uh, how to install adobe muse inside wordpress but in the future yeah we will be making more videos about how to create also uh, adobe muse thing okay let me just go back here to the main style okay this is the thing we want to install right now and we want to pick this option go file and then we want to export as a html and we want to create a new folder from here make sure you change because this is the ip address from the original website which is new to wordpress let me just change it to something else let's say demo Com. you don't have to worry about this uh, you can pick any name this is just change it doesn't matter it don't gonna affect your thing when you're uploading this thing okay and a folder let me just pick a different folder I'm gonna pick uh, let's go here I'm gonna create a new folder for that I'm gonna call it like that's the name for the thing I'm gonna pick this folder choose and now I'm gonna extract everything on it it's gonna be 19 pages in total sometimes uh, adobe muse is gonna take uh, about like a one minute sometimes less it's depending how far your computer is okay my is almost done you're gonna get these uh, warnings because um some features or image like i told you before won't be linked to this uh thing because this was creating another uh, adobe muse uh application you must relink this uh, with your own image and also you must uh, uh, relink everything on it here because that's the problem and also here's the image is what it said right now some images are like a missing and what is gonna happen is Adobe Muse is gonna use uh, the default image whatever the Adobe uh, your Adobe Muse application you have as default it's gonna pick that one but you have to relink how you can relink let me just say okay you come in here to your asset click here you see all these question mark that means all these pictures are missing because this belong to the original design but doesn't uh, the design doesn't come with this picture that means you have to pick your own pictures like uh, you have to download your own facebook uh, picture everything all right we're clearing that part and let me just go back here to see if it's everything here okay here's our um our new thing but this is HTML files and now the process is to convert all these files to WordPress like WordPress use PHP uh, extension not the HTML okay let me just close that one. Oh, first before I do that let me just compress also this one because otherwise I cannot upload into my cPanel let me just go here compress 
you have to use this option zip now zip and now we go here let me just go back to my C panel here let me just open it here and here we have to choose this option and we're going to pick this folder the mtw thing we don't have nothing yet here we choose upload and uploading our new thing is gonna be this zip file because the original has the b4 but the other i just created was just xd which go here depend how far your internet stay like my internet it's kind of slow it's kind of okay but still okay it's, the file is not that big okay it's done and now let me just go in back and now we have to extract all the files from here and let me just sorry i was thinking something else okay we back here we double check if that thing is there okay here is the new folder and now we have to go back to wordpress site and from here we have to choose this general setting we wait okay in general setting make sure you synchronize all the time that way when you uploading a new style to your website you can either choose to upload in like the way we did right now was a zip file or you can pick a filezilla stp style because I, I don't know somehow that, that the stp Muse to wordpress is built already in stp but somehow so, uh, some files get missing in the process that's the reason i prefer to upload it as a zip file okay let me choose here and we pick sd and over here you have a access you have a membership with the most used to wordpress you can get the ip key and uh, put it right here and you got access to all the new widgets they're gonna be still creating more and we say save after you're saving we can see our new style but before i forgot let me go and check our plugins to make sure all are active right now we click plugins and some plugin is gonna be already activated by default so you have to do by yourself like this one let me pick this this one and this one too because these are required to make sure this uh needs to wordpress thing work properly which is here apply now it's active all right everything is active right now now we can go and see our new wordpress site to see how it look like we click here open new tab as you see now we just install adobe muse inside wordpress now you can start create any muse uh, thing and you can install after that inside your wordpress site it's very easy okay i think this is all let me just check if everything is updating here if everything is working good yeah everything is working so far i don't have any posts but if you already have some posts in your current website all those posts gonna pop up in here you can see in here all right i think this is all if you have a question please let me know you can post it below to this video if you don't have a hosting like i mentioned before you just can go and click and buy from that link all right i think we finished with this uh tutorial i hope this video helped you a lot to how to install adobe muse inside your wordpress if you have a question please uh don't forget to leave it below this video and also you can subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos about muse to wordpress in the future that's all thank you very much